My name is Brad McLean, co-founder of Regulation Asia. Today, I'm pleased to be here with Jerome Lambert uh, from Nice Actomize to discuss everything around surveillance and artificial intelligence uh, and perspectives here on Asia Pacific from their offices in Singapore. Welcome, Jerome. Thank you. Welcome to our office. As a starting point, I was actually hoping you could walk me through the concept and your understanding of true risk. Risk is a moving target. So identifying true risk, it is basically looking beyond what we know and what can be easily detected with traditional risk approach. So we have to understand that events don't happen in isolation. So therefore, if you want to assess the risk, we need to analyze the events holistically, which includes behavioral patterns and anomalies. In short, managing true risk, it is looking for what we know and what we don't know yet. Now, that's an interesting perspective of what we don't know and don't know. Now, as I understand, you've recently created a suite of solutions specifically for Asia. What's the driving force behind it? Regulations, obviously. So we see a lot of regulations in Asia and globally as well uh, that requires more and more compliance, surveillance, and detection logic. So recently in Singapore, the MAS published trade surveillance guidelines. In Australia, we have the Royal Commissions that puts a lot of pressure on financial institutions too. And in fact, all those banks, they are struggling to catch up with new regulations, new changes, because they are dealing with limited budget and resources. So Nice Actimize leads the industry with AI-powered analytics and anomaly detection. So in fact, we are bringing surveillance to the next level. Firms need those innovations because they need to quickly and accurately implement those regulatory changes. For some time as a firm, you've been discussing the concept of holistic surveillance. I mean, a couple of questions here. One, what is it? And two, has it caught on the way you anticipated here in Asia? Yeah, so ho holistic surveillance, if we have to define it, it is in fact the ability to combine trade surveillance with e-communications and voice in a single platform. So in fact, holistic surveillance breaks the technological barriers of having siloed systems, and it will also obviously facilitate the review process for the compliance officers. We have customers who implemented holistic surveillance already, and they reduced by 98% the time spent for trade reconstruction. Our recent studies showed different maturity levels in terms of surveillance. Firms are still doing sampling or siloed surveillance, but without exception, all the industry is heading towards true holistic surveillance in the next couple of years. Okay, so increasingly I'm also seeing the discussion involving AI. So how are you layering AI on top of this holistic surveillance? We, we do rely on four key disruptive technologies, in fact. AI and machine learning, we will use it for better risk classification, better detection of anomalies, better detection of suspicious behaviors. We also use natural language processing, or NLP, to understand the meaning of the communications that we analyze, the chats, the emails, the WhatsApp, the voice communications. We also rely on RPA, robotic process automation. Within our case management platform, we will automate some tasks on behalf of the compliance analyst to help him working on his investigations. At the end of the day, our clients will benefit from those four disruptive technologies being able to detect true risk, being able to reduce the cost of compliance, and also importantly, boost the surveillance efficiency. I guess moving on a little bit, uh, with the emergence of cloud technologies uh, showing enormous promise for financial yeah. services uh, organizations, how are firms balancing the inherent, I guess, uh, risks uh, and benefits of security and data privacy concerns? Yeah, so there is clearly an interest in adoption for cloud solutions in Asia Pacific, even though, on the other hand, we still have some questions in terms of, as you said, security and data privacy. But cloud technology will benefit to the industry because very quickly you can start running a new system, deploy new applications, and quickly comply with new regulations as well. Together with our cloud-based managed service analytics, Actimize Watch, we continuously improve detection models and surveillance capabilities. So cloud is not mainstream yet, but clearly in the coming few years, we will see it coming more and more. So I guess looking ahead the next 12 months, what's in store for Nice Actimize in 2020? Yeah, so we had a busy year, so we released a lot of innovations in the market and this will clearly benefit our clients in 2020. But also we are looking for cloud-based self-development tools because 
our clients, they want to create their own analytics. They want to augment their analytics. But beyond the product, Nice Actimize, together with our partners, we are fully committed to support the Asia-Pacific region with our full portfolio of financial crime and compliance solutions and services. Excellent. So it seems the winning strategy moving forwards will be a mixture of AI, machine learning and cloud. With that, thank you very much for your time today, Jerome. Thank you. And for everyone joining, to learn more information, please visit niceactimize.com.